चंद्रयान तीन की सफलता ने आज ये साबित कर दिया है कि भारत का अंतरिक्ष मिशन लगातार सही दिशा में आगे बढ़ रहा है और जिनके नेतृत्व में ये मिशन आगे बढ़ रहा है आज हमारे साथ वो मौजूद हैं एस सोमनाथ इसरो चीफ सर आपका बहुत बहुत स्वागत है मेरा पहला सवाल आपसे ये है बीते दस सालों में भारतीय अंतरिक्ष मिशन को आप कैसे देखते हैं किस तरह से ये तेज़ी से आगे बढ़ रहा है और अपने दुनिया में पहचान साबित कर रहा है सर सिंस टू लास्ट नाइन एंड हाफ टेन ईयर्स ऑफ टाइम has been really wonderful year uh we started many new programs uh like the programs like gaganyan the mission like chandrayaan 3 1 chandrayaan 2 chandrayaan 3 mangalayan mission we started astrosat mission we did so it was a period of you know big uh, change in uh, isro's activities space activity but what happened after the recent times last 2 uh, 3 years is really wonderful that we were able to you know impact the common people public students young people inspire them because we were able to do very complex missions like uh, the chandrayaan 3 or missions jaise aditya l1 jo lagrange point l1 tak gaya surya ki padhai ke liye gaganyaan mission mein kai progress lai hamara jo test vehicle mission jo kiya hamara sslv ka no दूसरा मिशन सक्सेस हो गया और रियूसेबल लॉन्च हुए कल लैंडिंग विंग्ड एयरक्राफ्ट का लैंडिंग डेमोस्ट्रेशन भी सक्सेस हुआ सो इस सभी के कारण नो नो एवरीबडी इज़ लुकिंग एट इसरो विथ ग्रेट एडमिरेशन एट दिस मोमेंट बिकॉज ऑफ अ कॉम्प्लेक्स नेचर ऑफ द वर्क दैट वी डू एंड ऑल्सो द वे इन विच वी डू फ्रू गली एट लो कॉस्ट सो ऑल ऑफ दिस आर रियली ब्रॉट अटेंशन द मोर इम्पॉर्टेंट थिंग इज द विशन ऑफ द ऑनरेबल प्राइम मिनिस्टर दैट वी ब्रॉट हियर that the space sector is cannot be confined to isro alone it must be open to private ecosystem so this is another important thing that happened last two years the space sector opening happened the new policy for uh, engaging new actors in space came new startups started coming almost 200 of startups started uh, working in space sector and everybody is looking at space as a business and economical activity not simply a technical activity alone so many things have happened this year uh, this period I think it has been a very golden period of Israel to give greater hope for the possibility in the future. Manani Uprashpati ne Israel ka daura kiya. Saath hi unhone vyagyaniyon ke saath bhi mulaqat ki hai. Kaise dekhte hain unke daure ko kaisi prerna unse vyagyaniyon ko mili hai? He visited the uh, UR Rao Satellite Center uh, at the integration assembly complex of our satellites where the all satellites are built. He came here. and he had interaction with the senior leadership he also saw our facilities where satellites are being built in the including clean rooms and uh, he gave a talk uh, also uh, speaking about our accomplishment the pride that we have created uh, and isro's uh, uh, expectations uh, from the public that also he shares because our honorable vice president you know he uh, presides over the rajya sabha so he knows the pulse of the people the pulse of the representatives so what he spoke today is the essentially the message from the people also i understand and he is also a great uh, admirer of the work that we did and he told and he has lot of interest to understand what is really happening so all that i that i could understand in his interaction and uh, he gave a, a very good con- uh, uh, accordals to everybody especially the women leadership of isro where this center we have almost 30% of women uh, compared to the average of 20% across uh, isro center so really this area is this place is really uh, the best place to celebrate the women leadership as we are showcased in our earlier missions like chandrayaan 3 and aditya l1 so i am very thankful to him for the making this visit and to understand our work and to take pride in it and also to encourage our people so i we have transmitted this um, uh, his visit as well as his speech all across isro center through our network i'm sure that many people would have watched it and got encouraged by it isro mein mahilaon ki bhagidari ko lekar aap kaise dekhte hain kis tarah se women representation lagatar isro mein aur baki kshetron mein lagatar badh raha hai see the most important thing is not increasing alone see to inspire more young people to take up uh, science engineering mathematics you know that domain uh, to get into scientific work see today if you look at the percentage of women in uh, isro the scientific pool is not still not very large no it is still like something like 20% 25% uh, we have other women in administrative work so they also form part of the percentage uh, so the 
support system available in this country to bring them to leadership is some one, one thing important. And in schools and colleges to encourage them to take uh, domains like science, uh, topic study and then show them career progression in the life is that is a very important element. So as far as we are concerned, we ISRO, we are in the high technology area. So we want the, the best of the talent from the country to come. And we don't distinguish between women and men while we recruit. But once they come inside, we make sure that they get a uh, fair chance to grow in the management and leadership. So this we do. So it is not only that ISRO that it can do really to increase, but the whole country should do. The first thing I understand is education. In every schools, this must there must be a support system for girl child to uh, study more when they really want to study. Uh, there are challenges for women to progress in high high technology area because the number of years they have to spend uh, after graduation, post graduation, doctoral studies. You know, they in their prime time of a uh, younger age they have to spend so much of time compared to men. So this becomes a challenge. Even after joining ISRO, after marriage, they face a lot of problems of uh, childbirth and uh, they are take, taking care of children. All causes problem for them to grow uh, in, the, in their career compared to men. So all these are being addressed as an organization. How can we support, extend support for them to grow in the organization? Chandrayaan 3 ki launching ko aap game changer maante hain. Sabse zada isko uh, YouTube pe aur baki platforms pe dekha gaya live. Ise kaise dekhte hain aap? So it has been iconic, uh, Chandrayaan 3 has been iconic on that day when it was landing on 23rd August. As you said, it was watched by the record number of people on the uh, website. It's not only on website they watched, I think many more millions of people watched uh, through our transmission, which was arranged in schools, colleges, uh, scientific institutions. Everybody put a big uh, screens and projected it and seen. So it's not one connection, you don't count the YouTube connection and numbers. There were much multiple number of that that actually seen the whole thing. And many and the whole thing after this landing also many people have further viewed it, uh, recorded version and things like that and it was projected and seen. So the coverage of this m message of landing on the moon has been very widely spread out in this country, outside this country uh, and also in institutions outside, the, outside this country. So the impact it created is really phenomenal. We couldn't understand on the day of landing and we understood it much later. And if you go to a village, school or an institution, everybody recognizes the, the work of Chandrayaan 3 now. And everybody knows that we have landed on the moon, on the South Pole and that India is the first to do that. And it is a, it's a great encouragement for everybody who, wa who wanted to see India to be a superpower. And we tell this message saying that this is done by Indians using our own technology from our own soil. This gives them further confidence. And the next thing is we say this is done with a such a low cost compared to anybody else that could uh, otherwise not be able to do. So all these are good narratives as far as this nation is concerned to give hope that it is possible for us to work in this area, high technology area and still succeed. Bharatiya Antriksh mission ki jo pehchan aaj hai, wo ek low cost budget ke taur pe hai ki hum kam kharch mein achhi teknik ka istamal karke apne satellite ko launch kar rahe hain. Antarashti is tarp par isko aap kaise dekhte hain? See, the low cost comes out of various elements and it cannot be translated into a commercial that easily. See, the commercial comes out of various factors, the profitability, the reusability. So, in the world over, if you look at launch services, there are some companies who are dominant because of the technology advance uh, and also the reusability. We still do not have. So, if you have to really capture big market, we have to develop new technologies like the reusability we have to increase the payload fraction and it also goes with the location we have. We have a launch station at Sri Garikota, which also has constraints. But I am sure we will be in a position to develop new technology and also help in manufacturing large satellites in India. So one of the focus area for us today is to bring in manufacturing to India and, and make that area flourish so that we will have more satellites to be launched and we are also trying to see how SSLV can be produced in large number which is again a fast track uh, production and launch and low cost. Similarly, we want to develop a new rocket for a reusable configuration for higher payload so that we never go outside. So there are different strategies look at to bring the advantage of low cost, the bring, bring the advantage of reusability and in, increase the market share of us. All these are being done. Bharat ka antriksh mein agla mission kya hai? Antarashti star par Bharat ki bharti pehchan ko kis tarah se dekh rahe hain aur antarashti star par Bharat ki bhumi ka kya hone wali hai? Definitely Gaganyaan. Hamara jo ye mission hai jo Bharatiya Bharatiya antriksh yaan ko launch kare Gaganyaan mein aur hamara astronaut jo hai ek aur do teen 
को हमारे धरती के ऑर्बिट तक ले के वापस सेफली ब्रिंग बैक नो दिस मिशन सो वी आर ट्राइंग टू टारगेट इट ऑन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फाइव एंड दिस इज गोइंग टू बी डिफाइनिंग मोमेंट फॉर अस टू शो दैट इंडिया ऑल्सो कैन डू अन लाइक यू एस चाइना रशिया एंड देर आर नो अदर्स इवन इवन यूरोप डज हैव दिस कैपेबिलिटी जापान डज हैव so they have flown their astronaut but they don't have the technology or the system with them so unlike, so we are the third fourth going to be that in that capability it's really wonderful to have that and the world is looking at us we our engineering progress they are carefully watching but we are going it sl- slow and steady to make sure that it doesn't happen uh, with any danger uh, so to the astronauts and if everything goes well 2025 we will have the gaganyaan and the further after gaganyaan we have also announced recently that we are going to build space station we are also targeting landing on the moon i think all these messages are uh, going to the world and whenever they, the other space agency people come and meet me they always ask this question how you are able to conceive this is there a support system are you able to do it with this much of money i think these are all surprising things for them where many other nations are facing challenges to do this we are at least we have a hope to do this no this is really good to see antrikshya kshetra mein yuvaon ki bhagidari ko badhane ke liye क्या योजनाएं हैं साथ ही आप अंतरिक्ष मिशन में प्राइवेट सेक्टर की भूमिका को कैसे देखते हैं ना देर आर मेनी थिंग्स फॉर एग्जांपल यू टॉक्ट अबाउट यंग पीपल सो फर्स्ट थिंग इज अबाउट अंटरप्रनोरल कैपेबिलिटी इन स्पेस सो यू हैड अबाउट अबाउट 200 हंड्रेड स्टार्टअप स्टार्ट हैपेंट सो आफ्टर दिस इंक्रीजिंग इंटरेस्ट इन स्पेस आफ्टर द इन स्पेस हज कम इन वी हैव स्टार्ट ए हैंड होल्डिंग सपोर्ट फ्रॉम इन स्पेस इन वेरियस वेज देर आर सीड फंडिंग फॉर द स्टार्टअप देर आर इंक्यूबेशन सेंटर्स फॉर स्टार्टअप there is a technology technical center at ahmedabad coming up and it will come up in other places as well for helping them to do the design development etc this is one type of support second support is if you want to go to isro facility and take any support from them in terms of technology facility or infrastructure utilization this is also possible today for startup and companies then uh, another area is to find out applications so we earlier there was restriction for them to do work in various sectors now every restriction is removed Uh, launch vehicle building satellite building application uh, all can be done by private with authorization from in space so this is another opening up of the uh, activity we also started uh, even asking private companies to develop technologies for us recently isro has given out 100 technologies that need to be developed by private companies for use by isro so which is again another opportunity for new people uh, in, uh, in academy academy other uh, academic institutions as well as industries to pitch in and then start proposing such activity so various ways are being thought about and in the coming days there is going to be much more activity for example we would like to build a earth observation consortium by private company we want to build our bring our data been available in earth observation over the last so many years to be brought to private companies for them to monetize and add value we also want to help uh, uh, the new launch complex sslv launch complex is being built to help the small satellite launch vehicle to come and then launch from there Uh, we also transfer technology for satellites to the private for them to build and launch that is also happening so many activities are happening to handhold them and help them to look at uh, both in young people who are want to be entrepreneurs and for established companies to scale up their space activity 2047 tak bharat ke viksit bharat ke lakshya mein antariksh kshetra ki bhumika kya hogi ise aap kaise dekhte hain see if space is going to be more inspirational than uh, than in the past the first and foremost is everybody knows space is a very high technology area and uh, working in it and making it successful is difficult so this is one everybody knows one aspect of this everybody knows but if you want to look at 2047 in, in as a vikasit bharat there are many other dimensions to it it is basically we are looking at economic prosperity as a tool to drive the rest of the social reforms so this is one key element of this and this has economic prosperity will happen only by creating more and more investments in various sectors and the key investments will be in in those sectors where technology is going to be dominant for example we were an agrarian country we were dependent on agriculture as a basis of growth is no longer going to be agriculture need to be supported but the more revenues are to be generated by industrialization and technology infusion in various sectors so many areas are identified by government one of them is electronics the other is the um, you know for example the bio uh, and related activities for example the genomics uh, related biotechnology related medicines uh, material sciences artificial intelligence uh, robotics uh, manufacturing uh, 
uh, even electronics manufacturing, chips uh, is identified as a core area that we, we must invest and create. In all of this, space is also a dominant area. The, the overall economy, this will, its share will be continued to remain smaller because the whole, uh, we everywhere in the world over, space is not a very high uh, contributor of uh, national economy, but it has a secondary influence. The secondary influence are that it produces high talented people uh, and it also gives a high end type of applications for the available technology. So even with the electronics skills and software skills, what we do in space is far phenomenal than the commercial software that we do in the in equivalent sectors. So we are able to bring out leadership in this. So and it is more inspirational for people to take up science, technology, engineering, which is a big challenge for other nations. For example, if you go to Europe, there are no people really available to do high end work. Okay, even Russia is suffering from that capability deficiency. This is happening in Japan, in China. But India with a younger population which is very high, if you can inspire people to take up core science and engineering work, then we will one day become a dominant power in science, technology, engineering, innovation, etc., etc. So this is a goal. So when India has to become a, by 2047 a vigorous nation, it will be go through, in, through a very calculated investment in various sectors, space being one of them. And space want to be a flag torch bearer like many other sectors because we have shown that it is possible for us to do. It gives us a hope and confidence. भारत के अंतरिक्ष मिशन में युवाओं की भागीदारी को बढ़ाने और उन्हें स्वावलंबी बनाने को लेकर आप क्या सोचते हैं? See, I I don't think the terminology today brain drain is an issue. We don't talk about brain drain as an issue at all as far as nation is concerned. See, our, many of our top end institutions still produce best brains and they migrate, they go outside, they study, some of them come back, some of them may not come back and we don't treat it as a major issue, okay. Because we have enough of other talents in secondary level institutions which who can su supply to this. But if some of them will be able to come back and contribute to this, welcome. I think this, this is a, in terms of the message. In space sector, See, space is not, there is nothing like called space, uh, you know, something special. Space, space technology is like any other technology, like the standard technology, like software, the material sciences, the electronics, uh, the manufacturing. Like what you see in mobiles or any other technology can actually feed into space sector as well. But you need a little different type of understanding and usage of all. The conventional engineering sciences and scientific aspect. So the talent pool is already there sufficiently. So we don't see that there is any problem. Uh, and uh, if you are able to generate more business here on space and inspirational work, then people will stay back. वर्तमान में अंतरराष्ट्रीय स्थिति को देखते हुए भारत की भूमिका भविष्य में क्या होने वाली है? इसे आप कैसे देखते हैं? See, globally, space sector is being driven by US now, uh, and secondly by China. If you really look at the scale of activities, in uh, and US has more or less gone to the private ecosystem today. They have moved out of the NASA system and they are trying to make more and more private actors to come in than traditional big uh, defense industries. And in China we are all able to see there is a huge amount of public funding and also private people coming with the support of the government. And both are able to scale up substantially. Whereas in uh, traditional operators like the Europeans and Russians are going in a very slow pace. Uh, emergence of Japan is also seen now. So if you look at overall, India is seen as a top country now, everybody is now aspiring to collaborate. If you look at, I am able to see that US wants to tie up with us, the Europe wants to talk to us and we want to work with Japan and they also want to work with us. So there is a greater amount of collaboration happening and they, I am able to see a greater respect for what we do. Sunset TV se baat karne ke liye aapka bahut bahut dhanyavad. Namaskar sir. Thank you. तो ये थे इसरो प्रमुख एस सोमनाथ जिन्होंने बताया कि भारत का अंतरिक्ष मिशन किस तरह से काम कर रहा है और कैसे दो तक भारत के विकसित भारत बनाने में अंतरिक्ष मिशन की अहम भूमिका होने जा रही है सनसर टी के लिए सुरेंद्र कुमार